Okay, so here we are on the private beach of the hotel. It's kind of windy, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but this is the Gulf. So beautiful. I hope that the, the um, camera's picking up some of the just the amazing green color. Anyway, you can swim in the Gulf, but everybody says to be very careful. The tide moves quickly and pulls you. You can feel that just standing there. There are a lot of rocks on the beach, but you can still, you know, easily walk through there. But it's not smooth sandy like, say, Hawaii or something. But I just love how they have this set up with all of the umbrellas and chairs. Nobody is out here yet. I think it's a little too early, and anybody who is up that early is doing the kid thing by the pool, which is pandemonium right now. I'm glad I'm nowhere near there. Anyway, you can pick up your pink towels if you can see them, a couple of them piled up there as you come in. Again, this is private property of the hotel. But I just want to make sure you get to see this because, really, again, so inspiring. You can just see all of these buildings. These are all villas and apartments which people have rented as, you know, second homes, vacation homes, before nothing, right? So it just goes to show, again, you can make things come true. It might take a little while. It took them about, like, three, four years to build this. You can see the mountains along where we were yesterday on the speedboat. Even more villas being built there inside of the mountains, like inside the, on the cliff's edge, I guess. But just such beautiful, beautiful property and space. So, I am going to maybe chill out here for just 10 quick minutes, soak it all in before we head back to the city and our next interview. You do not want to miss that. And of course, more behind the scenes. Click on the next video to see more.